I am so freaking hot right now. It's not even funny. Like, it's I'm blazing up in this room. Oh my god. Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. What it do? What it do? <laughs> Um, in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face makeup tutorial. It's been quite a, quite a while since I've just gotten on here and just chit-chatted with you guys. It's been like three weeks to a month since I've like actually <clears throat> actually sat down and did like a makeup tutorial um, and actually like liked the outcome of it. Um, I do have a 90s makeup tutorial that I did a few days ago and I haven't edited it and everything, but I felt like I needed to get on here and just talk to you guys before I upload just a random like video with like out me talking because lately I've just been into I feel like this is too much headspace um <laughs> lately I've just been into just um like filming and like not talking like like I used to film and then I'd film like a voiceover but like I just haven't been in the mood to talk like I've just been like okay if I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup I'm gonna listen to some jams I'm gonna jam out while I do it kind of like how I used to do it so that's just where I am right now but regardless we are going to be doing a full face makeup tutorial like I said we're going to be using a couple of new palettes that I haven't that I've had for a while that I haven't featured on my channel and everything like that so if that is something that you're interested in please keep on watching it make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's free and let's get started Okay, so I'm gonna first use my ABH eye primer. This is um, like a white kind of base. And since I'm working with like purples in the crease, I want something that's really gonna make those purples pop. So I'm like, I might as well just go in with some of this. Um, and then I'm just gonna pat this out with a concealer brush. Uh, I forget what brand this is from, but I'm just gonna, excuse me, pat this all across my lid. So none of the palettes that I'm working out of have a good transition shade. So I'm just going to take um, Spice right here out of the Morphe 3503 palette. Just the closest palette to me. I just grabbed it and I'm going to use a JH32 brush. And this is going to go in the upper crease as um, a transition shade between the brow bone and the crease shades. And it's just something that's going to help blend out the purples because um, purples can be kind of harsh. So it's just going to help blend it out. So I'm not really going to focus too much on it because I will go in with a little bit more product. Um, I just wanted to lay that down and have that, you know, kind of as a base, so to speak. So now I'm going to move over to this Morphe, oh my gosh, the Morphe Artistry palette. I've never used this palette. Um, it's just, it, it really drew my eye because of all of the colors. Like it's like a rainbow palette. This did come out during Pride Week, I believe it was. Um, and it just really was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I'm going to use the shade Truth right here. It's like a really, 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 really like, like violet purple. Like it's like a deep purple. So I'm going to work that into my crease. And I'm going to first go in with a Morphe um, Jaclyn Hilla JH36 brush and just work this into the crease. So this shade is whoo, pigmented. But... When I was thinking of doing this look, I really didn't know how I wanted to go about it. Mainly because um, I didn't want, I didn't want it to be like, um, like with browns and things like that. I felt like that would have looked not cohesive with the jacket. So I was like, I might as well do purples. And you guys are always asking me to do a purple look because like purples is one of my favorite colors to wear and do makeup looks with but I really rarely ever do purple looks um why I don't really know but it's just I don't know it's a fun color but I just don't gravitate it gravitate towards it as much as maybe I should I really like um the neutral looks and you know just more simplistic looks 
um, that's my cup of tea so um, right now as you can see I have like a bulk of this color on and it looks so good it looks so pigmented so now I'm just going to start buffing this upwards um, and start to blend it out a little bit I am going to go in with a darker color so right now my main goal is just doing like kind of like small circular motions to buff this shadow upwards and then I'll go back in with a little bit of spice just to blend over the top. But right now you can kind of see that really nice gradient between the two. So um, it's not too affected. So I'm going to go in with a little more spice. Just kind of right over the top. Just like that. And then now we're going to move over to a different palette. This is going to be the Milani um, Gilded Violet Palette. I did a look with this this past summer. I'm going to take Past Curfew. It's a deeper, darker purple. Um, it's really, 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 really dark, and it's really pretty. So I'm going to take that on a Morphe M514 brush. Uh, I've never used this brush, but I really like using, like, like really small, precise brushes. And I'm just going to put this into the crease to deepen it up. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of black out of the um, 3503. Just a little bit of black because I felt like past curfew just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So mixing black with past curfew is just going to give it a darker look. And yeah. So now I'm just going to go back with the previous brush. I don't have any more shadow on this brush. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush just to blend everything together and now i'm just going to take a little bit more black right out here on the outer of it, outer v which is right here okay so now we have everything laid down now it's time to cut the crease um to cut the crease i'm going to use my dose of colors concealer brush um, and since I'm working with gold, I don't really need something like, like to make it pop so much. So I think I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolution. This is the Cut Crease Canvas Concealer, like not concealer, like cream thing. And this is in the shade Create. So it is pretty light, but it's not as light as the ABH primer. But, um, I really like working with this. This is less thick than the ABH primer and way more affordable. So Take it on the tip of that brush. I'm going to get right up close to my mirror and just draw the half cut crease. Now, you definitely want to take your time with this, but as you can see, the white space on my lid already, you can just apply the eyeshadow to that lid space if you want, but I'm going to go for a little bit more dramatics. As you can see, my brows are really dramatic today, so I figured I'd go all out with this makeup look since lately I've been kind of keeping it a little safe and not doing makeup at all, so I felt like I needed... A bang so to speak <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it so there is the cut it's a little wet um, I like for my base to be a little more tacky that's why I'm kind of like fanning fanning it a little bit but we're going into the ColourPop um, good as gold palette this palette is so stunning it has a lot of gold colors a ton of gold um, as well as some bronzes and some browns and things like that um, Gilded is actually like a pressed kind of like pigment kind of look thing. So I'm actually going to go in with Bold Rush, which is just a regular gold eyeshadow. And then I'm going to put Gilded over the top. I'm using a Sigma Firm shader. This is an E57 to do so. And I'm just going to place this all over. And you know what? I actually might. Oh, fuck. I went into the wrong shade. Where is my towel? Um, so I might actually keep this color out here towards the outer edge and then place Gilded towards the inner edge. I think that might be really pretty, but this eyeshadow is like, oh my gosh, buttery. Like, yeah, this is pretty. Really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to flip over to the other side and pick up some of Gilded. Gilded is actually um, like it needs to be picked up with like a finger. Um, let's see. 
<laughs> yeah, it needs to be picked up with a finger. But my fingers are, I have nails on them and it's so hard to pick up like glitter, half pigment-like product because of the nails. So funnily enough, funnily enough, I think that's a word. Funnily enough, funny enough, funny enough, I don't know. <laughs> but my grandma, um, I told you guys that I like am wearing and borrowing some of her clothes, like her shirts and stuff. And I used to do this when I lived with her um, back at her house before I moved out into the apartment with Jack. And this lady, she calls me every day and asks if I've done a look using any of her clothes yet. And I'm like, no, not yet. She's like, well, she'll call and be like, hey, Lenny, would you... Fuck me. She's like, what you do all day? And I'm like, nothing. Because usually I don't or I haven't. I, like the past two days, I've literally been in the bed reading. And so she'll ask and be like, what you do today? And I'm like, nothing. She's like, you ain't do no look yet. You ain't do no, you ain't, what did she say? You ain't did no tutorial. No, she doesn't call it a tutorial video or something. I forget what she called it, but it's hilarious. And I'm like, no, Nana, I haven't. And she's like, oh, well, we was just calling to see what you was doing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, just, nope, not doing anything. Just not doing anything and yeah I just think that's so cute she's so cute so now I'm gonna take some more truth and I'm just going to pat along the edge right here and this is just gonna blend some of the gold with truth so it's not like a super harsh line and I'm not sure if I want to like if I want to wing do a wing liner or if I'm gonna just leave it like this, like, and never really know what I wanna do. Okay, I need my towel. Okay, I have a towel. Um, but I don't know what I wanna do. I hate when I get to this part of doing my makeup and I'm like, which direction do I wanna go? Cause I like literally never freaking know. Hmm. I just got a new apartment. You know what'd be cool? Some purple glitter. I think what I'm gonna do is just like place some like purple glitter like along here and maybe like do a wing or something like that. Like, I don't really know exactly, but we're gonna try it out if it goes awry it just does you know like shit happens hey it doesn't look terrible <laughs> So I'm going to leave that like that and that's going to be the look, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and then I will be right back. Okay, so I think I'm going to end up using a nude liquid lipstick. That was my plan just to do like, you know, a nude since there's a lot going on with all this purple and everything. So. I'm gonna use my Shayla ColourPop lip liner in BFF number four. And then in the center, I'm gonna use Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick and Knock On Wood. It's a really, really, really pretty, really pretty nude. It reminds me of Starfish by ABH. I always have on like a gloss while I'm doing like the rest of my face just to moisturize for liquid lipstick. Ooh, that forehead line, baby. It is there. Okay, you guys, this is the completed look. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm just, this, this cardigan is just so bomb. It's just, I love the, the embroidery of it. It's just, and the color, it's just, it's just, it's just everything. Like, I don't even have words for what it is but i just know that it's everything and this look turned out really pretty 
the only thing i wish wouldn't have happened was um you can just kind of see a sparkle throughout the crease from like blending out um like when i put on that foiled eyeshadow it really kind of like I don't want to say ruined the eyeshadow, but it ruined it. So, um, in hindsight, I probably would have just put that first gold all over the lid. Excuse me, and just did it like that because both of them look good and both of them bring out, like, the lighter color brings out the silvery kind of champagne and the little buttons. And then that darker gold pulls out the entire embroidery and then the purple and everything brings out this. So, this is actually like a blue purple, but... Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure it's like 25 minutes long. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Mwah.